So my wife brought the truck back from Kentucky. So my truck has now been returned to me. Oh, but today is a big day. We're getting fueled up and ready to go. And we are going to pick up the new trailer. And I think I just heard the handle click. For those of you that are interested, the cost of filling up my truck. There you have it. 91.69 for 18.34 gallons. That's incredible. And that's why none of us can eat. See that big yellow sign way up yonder there? Yeah. That's our destination. Look how big this place is. Just to look. Can we? Well, I reckon we can. Okay. You know, maybe replace our work and play with another work and play. Maybe. So here we are at Leonard's, and we are heading in the door. You know, we probably could let Mom and Dad borrow, the, borrow it so that way Dad can take the car down. That Mustang sitting there. That's the golf cart we need to run up and down the holler in Kentucky. So here we go. We're heading in the door. what I found at Leonard's trailer and walking around I found a rototiller and it seems to be it's obviously PTO driven and it's a brush hog uh, RTC 50G and one of the things I noticed about this is uh, is instead of a shear pin it has a slip clutch back there and it, it's not a four tine and it's not a six tine. It appears to be, let's see if I can get this thing down there uh, low enough. It appears to be a five tine. Let's try to get the camera down there a little bit. I don't know if I'll be successful at it. Let's, let's try to get a little lower. It appears to be Oh, yeah, it appears to be uh, one, two, three, four, five, a five-tine rotor tiller. You know, Tractor Time with Tim is always talking about a six-tine rotor tiller versus a four-tine. Well, this one is in between. This is a five-tine, and it has sealed bearings at both ends, completely sealed bearings at both ends. Yeah. And it has its own kickstand here. And I am not sure if this is chain driven or gear driven. I don't know. I can't tell for sure if it's chain or gear. But I can tell you that uh, the rumor that I've heard is most of them are changing to gear driven 
simply due to the perception of the public believing that chain is inferior to gear. And that's not necessarily the case. But this is a 48 inch right here. So that's not bad. That's not bad. They have bigger ones over there. So hopefully the next time I turn on the camera, I'll have my trailer hooked to the truck.